on tight. Please keep your trays in the upright and locked the flummery. position. The flummery. To the flummery. You do anything you want me to. Flummery. The flummery. To the flummery. To your earlobes. Flummery. We can't be the frosty, the frostage. To the flummery. <laughs> Sorry, that's a school stain. <laughs> to the flummery. Flummery. To the flummery. Into the flummery. Into to your flummery. earlobes. Flummery. You can do anything you want me to. Earlobes. <laughs> Take us away. Flummery. Am I taking us away? Take us away. All right. Let's fucking do this. Welcome to episode 41 of the flummery. That's what? four plus zero plus one. Yep. Zero. Yep. You can add the zero. So That's a good place. We're on episode five. We're on episode five, and it is the Christmas special of the Flummery, which I know you're super excited about. Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> uh, we both celebrate Christmas. I celebrate my family. And by we, I mean Guy LaDouche yeah. and Frosty the Frostage. Um, yeah. Right? I just woke up. <laughs> That's good, though. Let's get that late night sketch. I'm not. I mean, I don't go to bed till two in the morning. But you didn't go to bed till after three last night because you commented on what was it Jason Michaels' deal, and that was like at three in the morning. Was that after my son woke us up? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, it was like three or four in the morning. My son was sick. And welcome to the Christmas special. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> What are you, how are you going to celebrate your Christmas, Adam? Um, Getting Lance. really effed up with your in-laws. Probably yeah. part of it, yeah. It seems like the, the, the norm with you guys, right? Well, it depends what we're doing. If we're hunting or something, we take it a well, little easier some nights. Yeah. But then other nights we get ripped. And then on Christmas, we I was going to ask you what your plans were. But I'll do mine. They're going to be quick. Well, my family, um, we don't do like Christmas Eve. We just get together Christmas Day. That's cool. And then we make food and play games, and that's about it. We don't exchange gifts anymore. We don't have, like, kids. Oh, my God. That's my fucking dream come true. What? I would love to just get the kids stuff and the the adults not exchange gifts. Um, so we just got tired of buying each other shit. Nobody, exactly. Nobody knew what it, I mean, we, we can afford what we want to get now, so it's like. Right. And then it just came down, like, everybody, like, at a certain point when it was, like, no more gifts. We did gift cards, and everybody was like, we don't need to get fucking gift cards. Nobody wants Make food, get together. Awesome food, awesome times, play games. Games are <coughs> fucking family game nights are fun. They're definitely fun. You're a game night. You're a game night. You're a game. So, and so you guys get together Christmas Day. What time? <coughs> I don't know. Afternoon. Do you go to ch- do you go to church? No. 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 Why not? Uh my mom and don't you believe in my, what? I think my mom and dad are a little bit more be, like into the belief thing a little bit more than they used to be. Like when we were raised, I was raised Lutheran. Okay, and I like Lutherans. Yeah, and then uh, at a certain point, I, when I was, actually mean that I'm when I was going for what is it, communion or whatever, or uh, con- not confirmation? It's uh, what is confirmation it? confirmation or first communion? First communion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like right Were before you first commune. I was, I was going going to classes with my buddies, and I was like, I don't with Jesus. Yeah, I'm like, I don't. I don't this is not my deal. Mm-hmm. So I I, I kind of dropped out of that after like eighth or ninth grade, and then I just haven't. That's a good time to make all your most important decisions. Yeah, that's when I got you know all those girls pregnant too. Oh yeah, but that's what abortion was for. Yeah, obviously. I mean, I mean, I nobody's might, gonna think twice about giving a fourteen year old an kids, abortion. But I'm not aware, so. And if not, the government and somebody else is taking really good care of them. So it's cool. <laughs> Us, in other words. So you're still taking care of them by paying in your way, taxes. Yeah. I think everybody should do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. Somebody's taking great care of them, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. 
<laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong. It's on. So yeah, like uh, Donkey we Donkey. don't we celebrate family on Christmas. I like it. I that's like and there's no presents. I was going to mention like, that. Let's make some food and get um and eat a lot of shrimp and ham or whatever we're doing or you know. Well, yeah, that's kind of the thing I was going to mention later, but it's fine that it came up now is just that idea that my ideal Christmas would be just everybody get together. And I'm not going to lie. I would like to take at least one or two Christmases and do, or a Thanksgiving maybe, and do like a charity thing where I take my kids, we feed, you know, the homeless or something. And, you know, sometimes they have the place, like they'll give toys to families, mm-hmm. homeless families, they'll feed them, yeah. you know, and I want to do that with my kids before they're like 15. You know, when they're younger, so yeah. I can kind of sink in a little bit, and then do it again when they're a little older. Well, if you you're and have, I think, you know, if you weren't so worried about getting shitty with your in-laws, then you might be able to do that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks for making me feel bad. No, but I mean, it would I'm you kidding. know honestly, it'd be nearly <laughs> as as generous as both my parents and my wife's parents are. It would be nearly impossible to convince them to do that, and I know my brother would be like, "That's fucking stupid." Yeah. He not that he would thinks it's stupid to help people because he helps people. He works in a hospital, you know. But the he was just like, No, we're not doing that. We'll do it a different day. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, that's kind of the point is to do it that day. And nobody's getting presents. And then you can I have a feeling that everybody would feel real good afterwards or real reflective. And that's like yeah, the whole, I wanna just that's know, the whole point. I've been thinking about doing that as well, just like pouring some we could get Home. people together and do it. Yeah, we could know? do it together. We could pour in some homeless people some soup. Yeah, pour in. And I think like cut them off a wedge of bread and be you, like, "It sounds like you said pour in." I'm eat like, this, eat it, and then get all that booze out of your system. I don't have any teeth. Help! No. He's making me chew. Yeah, I've been actually thinking about doing that. So if you, I, if if the Ingebrigtsons will have me, and you guys want to go do that, I would be down. I with would that. love to do it. It's got to be one of the next two Christmases. Let's do it next Christmas. I want to set it up. I'm going to try. Yeah. Work at the Dorothy Day. I'm going to try very hard and then to... just wear like a GoPro whatever. on our head when we're doing it, too. I don't know. You'd have to make everybody sign waivers. And then you can't punch... They don't, they don't have rights. Well, you just Then you can't be like punching the homeless in the gut and stuff. That's half, <laughs> like that's half the fun. Street. You like how we just talked about doing something really generous for the homeless, and now we're like, what was just fucking kick them in the dick. I mean, I'm, obviously we're joking, but, yes. you know... <laughs> Do you remember that you used to have like street bum fights? Oh my god, I was that made me that, that got like really that had serious repercussions. But that was like don't you ever that was a thing? It was. You're right. Don't you ever like hear about that stuff and just go, that's not for me. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be a guy standing there and all my buddies are like, yes, give me a fucking ten dollars so we can each chip in on the fifty dollars we're gonna give these two bums. Isn't that one you'd be like? Yeah, there was a movie. I'm not that fucking that doing too. that. Well, there was like a Law and Order about it. No, there was a movie. Yeah, it was called Bum Fights One Through Twenty Six. No, no, no. It was, I saw it not too long ago. Was it Highlander? <laughs> yeah, Highlander Hi- Seven. Highlander 2018: The Christmas Rising. No, let's see. What did it say? I'll look it up. What were you saying? There was a movie about the bum. Yeah, fights. I didn't remember. Oh, what was it? Who was in it? And they would pay. Oh, God, I forget the actor. Anyways, the Christmas spirit. In a world Krampus. with too many Santas, there can be only one. This November, Highlander 7, The Christmasing. <laughs> that's I don't know why it would come out in November. It's going to happen to you tonight, The Christmasing. <laughs> and we are not going to talk about why that came up. Just so you know. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Reading Facebook posts on our podcast. Yeah. That's going to last and last and last. Super sustainable awesomeness. <laughs> are, your, are your in-laws in town right now? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I got to say something. I, I'll get into my plans a little bit. Um, but first, you know, it is very cool that, you know, my in-laws and my folks come from two different states besides Minnesota, 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 and they come here every year now. It's kind of a thing we've set up. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's great. Your parents here too? Yeah, I'm from South Dakota, and my in where are they stand. And my in laws are from Wisconsin. Cheese. And like Everclear. Yeah. And moose drool or whatever. It's only mainly booze. I don't <laughs> know if Wisconsinites you know how to do shots really. <laughs> I think that yeah they mix Jim Beam and Cokes until they're sixty years old. Yeah. I wonder why they got stomach cancer. <laughs> yeah. So where is where are they staying at? They're obviously not staying at your guys' house. Yeah, my in-laws are staying at my place. We get the whole downstairs. There's a bedroom, big screen TV, couches. Yeah. Yeah, in the basement. And then we got a TV upstairs now and the couch for the kids. Is your basement? I've never been in your house. It's like half finished. We had a flood, so I had to tear up all the carpet. Yeah. And there's a bunch of shit that I started and I never finished. I have to, and the layout is, uh, the layout is not the titsist. So I'm gonna. Eventually, we're gonna rip everything out mm. and just start yeah. over. Yeah, I didn't even have to rip shit out. I just there's a few walls and stuff, and small. I mean, this is all cinder block down here, and then I had like a wall or two. Yeah. But. Well, that's this is a pretty good layout. I you got a really nice square mm. living room. You got a nice uh, full size. The only bedroom. thing that's janky is the entryway here to the laundry room. Yeah, but you can go out. You can go out right here anyway, too, if you wanted, like yeah. to avoid that. But like an apartment, you know, I'm gonna go down the stairs and go outside, you know. Yeah, it's AIDS. <laughs> Would that give you AIDS? Mm-hmm. AIDS. No, I'm it's just AIDS. saying like AIDS. AIDS that help out AIDS. Oh, I'm sorry, listening public. You get your uh, head in the gutter. Still one of my favorite thi- things from them ever is that World Police, one of the guys, the actors in the Rent style musical, and the last song is AIDS. Everyone has AIDS. Are you talking about AIDS, 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 AIDS? Team America? <laughs> yes, World Police. Oh. <laughs> okay, my plans for Christmas. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. This happens every year now bottle of JD. No, no. 175. The in-laws come into town. Yeah. Me and the father-in-law hang out in a couple your parents day? T- days. You put them up at the Dorothy well, day? Hold on, I'll get there. Okay. The in-laws come into town. A couple days later, my folks come into town. In-laws stay with me. My folks stay with my broski and my sister. Oh, and in law Richfield? Yes. And If you guys don't know, Adam's brother lives in Richfield. The address is 60. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so they go there, and then all of us go to my brother's house for Christmas Eve. Then, and that's a lot of fun. We open presents, shitload of presents, because then their family with their two daughters goes to her, you know, to my brother's in-law's place on Christmas Day. And then on Christmas Day, my parents, well, first of all, Christmas Eve is a lot of fun. That's when we open a lot of the gifts. Mm-hmm. The Christmas Day, you know, the kids get up. That's where you get your, like, Legos and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. That's when I get my ugly sweaters and uh, Legos. (laughs) I tried not to do that. Yeah. And then then Christmas Day, my brother and them split off, right? So my folks are alone. Not alone. They come over to our place. My father-in-law, we chip in. And he brings it from this rural meat market, you know? Head cheese. Like a bu- no, like a real butcher. Like he Haggis. Like no, just wait. <laughs> Good guesses. Actually keep guessing. That actually is pretty funny. <laughs> it's a gigantic prime rib about this big. Ooh. It's like a hundred and ten bucks. He has them set it aside for him special. Like a real prime rib? Yeah, seasoned. Or an Arby's prime rib. <laughs> Definitely not an Arby's prime <laughs> like an Arby. rib. You ever see those chunks that cut the meat off of? It's just like, like better than a steakhouse prime it's rib. Like a co- it's like a coagulated. It's They've learned exactly how to cook it, exactly how long, exactly what temp, what to do. The prime, the prime rib. You yeah. Get. My <clears throat> wife and my father-in-law prepare that on Sunday. And then we all sit down. I get to give the toast. Oh, you're the toaster? Yeah, I'm the toaster. You do it at your house? Yeah, I think I'm going to change it into a roast. I'm going to roast everybody next year. No, <laughs> or this year. Start writing jokes. <laughs> oh, they'll write themselves. I'll show up. I'll, write I'll be themselves. the guest roaster. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? They write themselves for those clowns. Yeah. Or we can get uh, the situation. The we, ha- we can get the situation to do the roast like he did. In, do you ever see how 
bad he bombed. I heard he's in jail he's for tax evasion. Sucks. Good for him. Why does it keep deleting these? What? What's wrong? Nothing. You're so upset. It goes to recently deleted the last two flummery notes I've made. Okay. Sorry. You're fine. What were you saying? I'm, I, I said we should get the situation to come and roast your family. Well, did you know how much I hated all of those people on that show? I actually, I actually, my buddy Mark and I would watch it because it was a fucking riot. Yeah, but those are but real had, people. I know. That's but, how they really act. We, I know. We looked at it. At least on TV. You know, like yeah. not, we, I mean, we were like, we weren't uh, per se in the culture of watching of like, oh, do we really look up to these people? No, we didn't. I we, know We that, laughed but. at them. You know, we laughed at it. Yes, but We that's, laughed at the situation. We laughed, I mean, not the person, but the. Yeah. The situation. Yeah. 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 It was like a situational. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It was like citriel. It's sit. Situational reality. Really, you know, there, I, there, there's a couple people like Vinny was pretty cool. I don't, I don't know their names. I watched it Vinny once or twice. Down to earth, I would say, and I was I mean, like, like, I hate, party, but they're twenty year olds. You know. Yeah, well, that I totally get. Yeah, but I hate. You know what? I hated except less for the situation. Than that was like the oldest. He was like thirty years old. And yeah, he's was a like, fucking loser. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know. Yes. They would call him old man on the show. <laughs> old man balls. Old man balls. Did he have old man balls? I don't know. I mean, he was like literally like. Ooh, we're getting something here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Rant. I was between five and ten years older than those guys. Um, yeah, but here's the thing with that. What happened next is you've got all the fucking now they're in their housewives, early mid-30s. all the housewife shows and stuff. There are people that like follow those and want to live that style of life. I do. I mean, it's fucking disgusting the way they act. It is disgusting. I know. And then they we <laughs> glamorize this on TV. So fucking I hope you watch, disgusting. I hope you and they get these cult followings and those people want to act let your like kids that. watch this shit, right? Fuck no. Yeah. Are you kidding me? They're four and eight. Why would they be watching that? They're watching <laughs> PBS Kids. <laughs> Daddy, I really want to watch the or- Housewives of Orange County. As kids, can I watch the one where the wi- women are trying to? wrangle basketball players to be their husbands. That's one I can't remember the acronym, but there's a show. They're called the Webs or something like that. Mm. Wanna be basketball wives or something? It's something like that. Yeah. I, I wish I could remember exactly, but you know how my fucking brain works. It's such a sad state. I need like, to see more of your mouth. Really? <laughs> I've heard that before. Did you guys catch that? Okay, how about that? Is that a little bit better? Yeah, because when I line I'm still in the I need to see your mouth movement. Maybe it's better. You just play whatever you want and I just sit right. here like this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it like... Perfect. Perfect butter. Okay, well, this works out because when you turn it, this mic is still good enough. These fucking AT2020s are pretty badass. Yeah, they're really good mics for the price. Yeah. I, I mean, mean there's, you can't really tell the difference between that one or this one. Uh... Okay, well, I maybe in the recording, but like now listening. No, no, I think you can tell the difference. That's he's, he's using a Shure SM7B. SM7B, and that's kind of the the flagship it's like model. Four times the amount of the AT, that one. Yeah, but it's like their flag. I mean, that's lots of people are using this rig right here, and Joe for Rogan good does. for good reason. I mean, it's a nice rig, Joe. and you can tell it's a deeper. Well, Not a deep, it. I would um, say a fuller song. You want to know something? Joe Rogan's on the movie Bright. Is he? Yeah. What Just does he a, do? In the beginning Is of the movie, of the the, monsters? him and his wife are watching a podcast on a laptop, and he's on there interviewing oh. one of the orcs. Because there's orcs and elves and shit Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he's only on there for like three seconds, but right. he's like on there. But he's the most famous but podcast it, and it's right now. In his, in his studio with an orc sitting across from him. <laughs> How come he never? I never heard him talk about it's that. Pretty funny. He's in the credits too for it. I'm surprised that they didn't make. I'm surprised that he didn't say more about it. Like, hey, you got to check out. Well, he's a Will Smith. Will Smith's one of the highest paid fucking actors in Hollywood. Yeah, but you think he would have been like, hey guys, check out this movie. I'm in it for three uh, seconds, but maybe he did. Maybe we just didn't catch it. Yeah, maybe. And maybe doesn't give a rat's ass either. Okay, I got to tell you, maybe does not give a rat's ass. Oh, what did I hear a joke yesterday? Um, not at work. Uh, 
Somebody, how, many, how many cysts does it take to turn, screw in a light bulb? No, somebody was making fun of someone else, and then the other person was like, some small dick, something, something. And he goes, hey, it may look like three inches, but it smells like a foot. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Or like the farmer said, <laughs> you can lead a horse to water, but you can't lead a horror to culture. Yeah, I think I've heard that one before. Horticulture. Yep. I got to say it that way. Horticulture. Horticulture. But you can't lead a horticulture. You can take the girl out of the trailer Horticulture. park, but you can't take the trailer park out of the girl. You can take the girl out of the trailer park, but you can't take the trail of pork. You can get a good That's look at... That's not as good of an innuendo. You can get a good look at a T-bone steak by sticking your head up a butcher's ass. Or a cow's ass. But Thank, you, you Mr. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Callahan. <laughs> God, I wish he was still alive. Can you believe it's 1997 he, that he was he passed away? Can you believe? Imagine if he lived. You know what he, he would be right now? He'd be like a. He was 27 when he died. No, he'd be skinny. He'd be like a health guru you guy. So? Yeah, he'd be like a Hollywood guy who got skinny, and I guarantee it because how amped he was. If he ever got off coke, he would have turned into that. He's a bright shining star. Yeah. Don't, I think don't last long. just because of the way that he was motivated, you know uh, what I mean? Is this episode brought to us by Dr. Pepper <laughs> and a leader of Dr. Pepper? Well, goddamn leader of cola is what it is. I don't what know was what it, you're talking what about. What was it, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew last time? <sighs> ah, delicious. <laughs> delicious. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited. It was Mountain Dew, yeah. With about doing the live thing now. I'm super excited. So we got a few changes to make as far as equipment, though. Okay. Well, so you're doing the webcams and I'm doing the lighting. Is that the deal? Yeah. Fucking, I think these things actually work out pretty good too. Well, the problem is what you have to do to use them. Well, yeah. The editing. He edited the last show for like six and a half hours, just so you know, folks. And that is a lot of fucking work. Yeah, Just I really don't want to click, do that anymore. Drag, drag, click, click, drag, click. This is going to be a little bit simpler because I'm going to do these side by side. <clears throat> Good idea. Instead of trying to fit that little one. Because last time I did one that's at 1080 wide angle and one was like 720 regular. And then you try to put that together in a video and it just doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? you got to be yeah. consistent with your shots. Right. Like that's, why you I'm edit, doing, you that's why I'm doing this. Go to one person way. and then the other, it's going to go... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put us like side by side on the video this time. That's a good idea. And uh, that's why I'm doing this the way it is right now. That's a good idea. Your eyes are very brilliant in this. <laughs> Turn around. Bright eyes. Hey, okay, uh, segue. Um, I would like to Subway, talk. Subway, Jared? Well, I would. Oh, he's my hero. I would like to talk about your plan. Oh, what? Okay. I'd like to talk about your favorite moments from Christmas. Of Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. Christmas past is going to be about kind of like what you did when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. And then what you did in the middle years where you're like, "Mm, I'm an adult and I don't have to be home for Christmas every time. And then what you did, (laughs) what you're doing now, which I think we already talked about. And then future is what you think you want to do. What's your ideal Christmas? Oh, you want me to start with past? Is that how it works in the I think my fondest Christmas memory Carol? of uh, uh, Christmas is in the past is probably when I was... It is. Before I was 10, obviously. And I remember getting a Star Wars AT-AT walker. And I remember getting the Millennium Falcon. I remember getting... Wait, 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 wait. This is all in one Christmas? No, these are different Christmas. Okay, wait then. Because I got something coming up about gifts. So you know. But that's your favorite, though. Okay, I got you. Go on, yes. And then I got one of the snow speeder, the Rebel snow speeders, snow cruisers. So all of your favorite gifts are those toys. Yeah, Star Wars. Let me guess, just like us, me and my brother, same thing, right? Yeah. Did you have all those when you were a kid? Oh, we had the Millennium Falcon, like the one where the whole back came Thing off. off yep it had the awesome landing gear and then the like the cockpit would open up like this yeah and you switch the guys in and out oh. i had all the figures like chewbacca leia 
Everybody, Luke, mm-hmm. fucking Bubba Fett. Do you remember remember uh, Vader? We, and then the lightsaber, you would have to take the little hand push thing. Remember no, that? I didn't have that one. So the Vader, like the Vader's arm, like there was a lightsaber built in, and you just it was like. Uh, you just go like this, and the lightsaber there's would a little come handle, out. Handle, not a handle, but a little <laughs> extension, and you just push it back and forth, and it would come out of his hand. That's pretty cool. And he had a he had a, a, a phallic penis that would do the same thing too. Mine had it would be in the cape. You'd lift the cape and you go, whoosh, whoosh, yeah. and then if I could dildo, <laughs> like wipe his ass. Well, a dildo would, would fall like, out. <laughs> it was like a dildo like, on a Come string. Come on, Vader, let me, it's time for your little dookie wipe. Down. It was a lightsaber dildo, and it would fall out of his ass on a string, and then you could whoosh, suck it right back. Oh, up. like a tampon string. Like he was using the force to fuck himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty sexy. Good for kids of all ages. Yeah, so all of your favorite toys were Star Wars toys. Those are my fondest memories, man. <sighs> We're going to get into this. My parents were, I mean, we weren't rich at all, and I was surprised. No, nobody, I mean, we weren't either. Fuck. Fucking lived off of spam. What else did we eat when I was a kid? Oh, we had pork chops. We had to have hot dogs in our mac and cheese. Pork chops, my dad's favorite. That's like. Well, my mom was horrible making pork chops. I hope you're watching this. (laughs) Oh, what was it? Steakums. Remember (laughs) Steakums? We didn't have those. Never had Steakums. They came frozen. I know what they they are. Flat square things and you put them in like a hoagie bun oh, one of the best things oh i would have loved that that was like a delicacy for us that sounds awesome they weren't even like real <laughs> sounds like kind of like lunchables you know yeah where when you're younger you think it's oh this is the fucking bee's knees yeah I'm, i, I you, keep looking at the camera brown swagger pissing too. myself off i remember i used to use buttloads of oh, brown swagger so good oh and then i figured it was just like mashed paste no it's liver paste yeah. it's liver vast. gross it's a pate Whoop. it's good mm-hmm here, I'll get you some of that this year. Well, here's the thing about about Braunschweiger or Livavast. My dad you, would be pickled herring out of it. Kid a slice. Uh, I did when I was a little older. I hated it when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I love it on Ritz crackers, though. Oof. Now, but you take a slice. Okay, you slice the fucking Braunschweiger, right? It's about that thick, your first one. And you kind of you just put a little slit in there and you peel the stuff around. Came in a round, yeah, sl- cylinder. Thing. Yeah, and it's got a yellow sleeve around yep, it, with and, with a with clear plastic around that. Yeah, and then you you put a little slit in that sleeve, you peel it around, and you just eat that fucker, and it would taste so good, and like and like, it was a full taste, right? I'm getting an upset stomach. But here's yeah. the hold on, here's the thing, that second one tasted just like fucking blood and tin. It was like tin yep. and grist <laughs> because it's and sat. Gristle. In your fucking, it's sad. Like bloody, your taste buds. tinny sand. And I'm like, you're like the second one was always too much. I'm like, this is too much. Did you ever put it on bread? Because <laughs> I like, would eat it on bread. Like, a slice this thick, like this big around, is like 14 grams of fat. <laughs> I used to try to like spread it on your bread like, and it just rip your bread apart. Because yeah. <laughs> it's probably too cold sitting in the fridge. Swagger. You know? <laughs> Holy shit, that's all. Under old. arrest. That's when I used to work for Velocity. You did? Yeah. Can we get I this? I can't believe the shit they got away with. See if that's up. See if that's going. Like, look at the camera. Oh, no. Here, mine's on my view. I'll do it on here. Yeah, it's a little bit brighter. It's so... That's when I used to deliver drugs for Velocity. Just get in there. It's there. Closer. Look at that strapping young buck. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 24, 25 at that point. Hmm. It's not that young. No, 23. Still not young enough yeah. for me to be impressed. Velocity was a courier service? Yeah, we, uh, <sighs> shitty pay, and we would deliver hundreds of thousands of dollars of drugs and totes to, like, pharmacies and stuff. And they would pay you shit? Shit. Well, I wonder how fucking stuff gets like, stolen. Well, they came in these totes, you know how the, you know, like the... Yeah, like the flap over to Yeah, the plastic and, the totes, and they would just like all they do is put a like a Ziploc tire on each one of them and they would have like hundreds of dollars of fucking drugs. <laughs> Ziploc in seal. Yeah. And then you know I got a few dates. I need to see more of your mouth. I got a few dates off of that. You know that who's the delivery guy? No way. Fuck yeah, it was awesome. I remember one that was I forget her name. It was like Chris or something. She ended up being she was super hot. Yeah, have you ever had sex in the office? 
She's super hot. She worked at a. Okay. She was a. You're not she going with that one at some all. Some pharmacy in Bloomington. I forget. Oh, so cool. Yeah. That's you're supposed to tell a story about how you fucked her on the counter. That's a way more interesting story. I bang danged her in my apartment at the pharmacy. Yeah, that's what the whole porn music thing was about. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) That lasted one night. That's good. We went on a few dates and we had sex, and then it was like woke up and it was just like super crazy came on, and I'm like, I'm you got it. Yeah, I'm like you got to go. <laughs> Super just, crazy, just just weird, saying weird shit. Just I, I love you. Just, just wasn't <laughs> not cool. Of Looks her. last a week, personality lasts a lifetime. I always say. I guess it depends. I bet you would have liked to fuck her again, though. No, not after that. <laughs> yeah, right. It wasn't that great in the mm-hmm. first place. Then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you, here's the deal. You go you, when you're. I mean, some people can get together and have great sex for the first time. Just you just and some control people need that. To so like you're in control. Work on it. You know what I'm saying? You're in control. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Of that whole situation. Mm. No, get that in your mental. Especially with this mustache <laughs> right now that's hanging over my lips. <sighs> All right, that was fucking completely oh, uncalled so, for. Uh, you want me to talk about? Well, Braunschweiger, we were still on Braunschweiger. Oh yeah, we're talking about Christmas. Yeah, it's past. Braunschweiger. Christmas past. Did what would we do for? Oh, we probably just like cooked hams and shit like that. I don't remember what food. I remember spending a couple of my Christmases down in Florida. That's cool. Because my uncle lived north of That's awesome. Miami and Hollywood, not Hollywood. Yeah, we got you. There's a Hollywood in Florida. Because you said people. Florida already, yeah. so we, we can put that. Well, some people don't know that, though. Some people. There is actually a Hollywood in Florida. And it is act- that in Fort Lauderdale are pretty. Hollywood in Florida is. I w- would definitely stay there and hang out there more over than Miami. Well, probably less touristy. No, it's touristy, tu- but it's not as dirty. What are you trying to say? D I R T Y. Dirty. D U R D Y. Yeah, Hollywood's a good place to be. They got a nice beach and boardwalk and all that jazz. And yeah, it sounds fucking nice. Mm-hmm. Florida for Christmas would be cool. Yeah, that's my first memories of. I like, never really went I out of town. I would for actually. Christmas. This was my first time to Key West. Is another memorable Christmas to me. And that was you by yourself. No, no. Okay. With when, when I was like seven years old. Oh, okay. With your family. Yeah. All right. And then we would like drive down. We would drive because my parents couldn't afford us to fly down i probably it's better anyway. and then we drive down and then we have christmas with uncle gordy and then uncle gordy and, and my gordy. F- and the family god rest his soul would drive down to key west and then i remember just that time and they would make stops on the little keys or by the bridges and i would like catch crabs and shit on the on the ocean and the, that was a really good time too. <laughs> yeah that sounds awesome so <laughs> Um, then I then I finally got to experience Key West within the last few years again, <clears throat> being younger, being down there a couple times. Yeah, the, as an adult, the new dude. Bar. And if you guys ever get a chance, <laughs> go to the Garden of Eden. It's where all the dicks hang out. I like the Garden of Eden better. It's the lesbian one across the street. Yeah, the Garden of Eden is the third floor of a bar that's just total crudity. I mean, there's there's. There's women in. I'm just laughing about it. I mean, I'll never forget what, taking, taking that, walking up the stairs and taking the left and just dick right in my face. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's a memorable Christmas. Well, it's not a Christmas story, but. <laughs> hey man, I st- I mean there was there was obviously a couple naked women there too. By the way, we I are remember, not like that doesn't phase me. I went in and sat down and had shot. And I had a I had a proper beer. I had a proper fireball, and I a stayed proper the, beer. Probably was there for twenty minutes to thirty minutes, and I ended up leaving. It didn't bother um, me. Yeah, you just wanted to experience the goofiness. Why not? I get it. Yeah, but we want to make it clear that he's not talking about when he was seven right now. <laughs> no, I'm talking about when I was seven. <laughs> when there pa- was a dick right my, in my face. My parents forced me. Oh my god! <laughs> <They'll> <laughs> fucking kill you. <laughs> uh, 
Mala to Dr. Pepper. The things that they <sighs> gotta put, go. The things that they put me through. <laughs> the fucking the, yeah. When the last time it was Mountain Dew, it was like in the can. Yeah, it was the you. same size. <laughs> Goddamn liter of cola. Goddamn liter of colas. You mean thirty three point eight fluid ounces is fucking America. So anyway, do you? <laughs> um, well that sounds fucking really nice. You did a lot of traveling on Christmas then. Yeah, we would do. We would. Uh, I mean, my uncle Gordy was um, single Ooh. for most of his life. He, Gordy, I he can see him at the golf club. Hey, Gordy, to you off in ten, buddy. Gotcha, brother. Six foot seven, lanky as hell, and drank beer like it was going out of fucking style. Sounds like Andre the Giant to Just me. Just fucking Uncle Gordy. <laughs> Did he do that? <laughs> no, I mean he wasn't like a sloth or anything. <laughs> He's really good with kids. He just. He's got that Owen side of my family, just fucking. Oh man, we're going to the Garden of Eden. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you man before you're man. <laughs> God, you know what? Three of my, three. Of, my mom had five kids in the family, including her. Three of them are gone now. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I, all within the last. It's pretty I mean, brutal. Gordy was, I mean, he was probably over ten years ago now, but. My uncle, my aunt, Bat, my aunt Liz or Elizabeth, Aunt Betty, you can call her Betty too, and my uncle um, Bobby passed away in the last couple of years, with right within each other. Yeah, so Christmas is a good time to remember them. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, I love them. I mean, but it's not cool that they're gone. What I mean is, it's cool that and bring it up and what else? I mean, they had so there were three. Of her siblings that passed away. Yeah, there's just my mom is the youngest, and my my um. Well, she's only like sixty aunt, something, right? Sixty two. She'll be seventy next year. What? Yeah. Okay. And then my aunt Jan is the oldest, and all the middle kids, the ones that drink and partied. Yeah. My aunt Jan and my mom don't party, and they're the ones that are still alive. So I'm fucked. Is what you're saying? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. <I think. laughs> no, you'll be all right. You can work out and stuff. Work out. I'm not worried about it. Fucking I don't want to be. I don't want to be too old where I can't. I'm in mobile and have to rely on people. I'd rather just have like an aneurysm. Go. Yeah, that's not. I'm not gonna lie. I think 70 would be great. Just. I don't know. If you're still mobile at 70, you're, my dad's 71 and he's. Ah, fuck it. I got 30 years left. That's all I want. <laughs> 31. <laughs> I could go now and be happy. Yeah. Other than leaving my kids and wife behind. Right. You like, got an insurance plan. Uh, let's just put it this way. I'm not going to be hurting. Right. Get old, uh, I'm worth more dad than probably about 20 years of me alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's make that happen. <laughs> Can I get written in there? Somewhere? I made the mistake of telling my wife that, too. <laughs> you're going to wake up. One of the, you're not going to wake up one of these days and it's just cyanide laying all over. Well, you. I hope I die at work. So I, I told him. <laughs> it's not like fucking they can sue them and get millions of dollars, but no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, what about your Christmas pass, there, buddy? Well, I, you know what? I mine was a little more simple, although it was, it was always going to South Dakota. I sound very or real quick home. here. I sound yeah, very ahead. snooty, like oh, I got Star Wars toys. No, the fucking we talk about Star Wars all the time. Right. It makes perfect sense. Right. Okay, go ahead. Are you? <laughs> why is that snooty? No. I mean, they were awesome, but lots of kids had those. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Go ahead. I'm gonna go with that. I'm not trying to steal your thunder here. No, I'm good with that. I. It's, we're back and forth on this. I will. And, well, and then where was I? Oh, okay. So, I didn't do as much coke traveling as you did, although I traveled almost what every year. What the fuck is going on up there? God is bowling. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, man. Right. I don't think they picked it up. Yeah. Uh, well, whatever. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we we drive to South Dakota every time. I, you know, my grandmother on my dad's side. So when did your parents move to South Dakota? Like seven years ago. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Right after my daughter was born. <laughs> Thanks. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to cr- the Christmas thing. Unfortunately, my dad's parents passed away very young. His dad was 41 when he died. His mom died a few years later. I was like, 
or like several years later. I was like three when she yeah, passed. My so dad, I don't remember her at all. My dad was three when his dad died. Yeah. So we, we, um, and I know, yeah, I know about that. Actually, he told me about that. But anyway, we, we'd always go to South Dakota and visit my mom's side. Not always, but when we ge- go there, we'd primarily be at my grandparents' house. And that was a lot of fun because they'd get all the cousins together and there was like eight of us and they'd line us up in this patio and the patio was about six feet. <laughs> I'm listening. To go to sleep. And the patio was about like six feet deep. Mm-hmm. And then like it was probably like 40 feet long. Yeah. And then line us up and then right the door come down the, the door from upstairs would be here. You know, it's right here. And then there's the wall for the patio. And there's us out on the patio. It's like or porch. I'm sorry, porch. I keep saying patio. It's yeah, a porch. Four porch. season porch. You know, three season porch probably. Big windows. No, it's middle of winter. It's definitely four season insulated. Oh, okay. So, and then it was kind of fun because we'd all sit and we'd. Think of Santa Claus. You know, and you'd mm-hmm. see him. You'd see a red light in the sky, and everybody get up. Oh, fucking Santa Claus. Of course, we wouldn't swear. And we're all standing by the big window, like, oh, let me see. Oh, my God, you see it's fucking out, Santa out. Claus. Yeah, it's shit like that. And then otherwise, we just sit there and talk, lay there and talk about shit until probably like 2 and 3 in the morning. And our parents, every one by one, they'd come to the top of the stairs. Hey. Hey. Because it was the stairs up to the bedrooms. Mm-hmm. Hey, shh. Your grandparents are sleeping. And we're like, you just want to sleep. You know, now I think about they just... We're trying to find a way to say shut the fuck up as nicely as possible. Shut the fuck up and go to bed. Yeah. Which one of my uncles did say once, which was hilarious. We're like, oh, okay, we will. <laughs> <laughs> and it would last about a minute and a half. And then we're like, oh, yeah, something like that. You know, until everybody was so tired, they just fall asleep one by one. That was probably one of the best parts. But that happened all the time over Christmas. And then a lot of times on my dad's side of the family, we'd visit them like the next day. Yeah. We had a big gift unwrapping, you know, like one present each. And it was like, how many people in that house when we did that? Six. So ten. Everybody had wives and husbands. So that's ten. And this one's three, four, five, six. There's probably like 25 people in that house. And, it, you know, in a room. And the Christmas tree was in a room the size of that room over there. So it was pretty packed, but it was super fun. And uh, and then other times we go to like moved to your grandparents' house. No, no, no. They bought a place in Brandon. Is that where your grandparents live? No, no. My parents live by Sioux Falls. Their parents big were town like with nothing going on. Forty-five minutes. Mm-hmm. Like forty-five minutes. Tim Buda south used to live of there. Visiting them. Forty minutes south. Mm-hmm. They lived. Both of them lived. Okay. Southeast. It's like in the southeast corner of South Dakota. Yeah, I mean, Sioux Falls is in the south, but not that south. south. It's like, it's over, the, it's like a few miles over the border. Like here's South Dakota, here's Sioux, Sioux Falls, and here's where your grandparents yeah. live. Yeah, yep. Yes. Yes. If that's east. Yes. <laughs> in my view. Yes. And that's south. Yes. Yeah. So that's like Sioux Falls and your... Yep. Yeah, and then my, my, my cousins, some of my cousins live right here in Worthington. I know where Worthington is. Well, it's actually Brewster. I know where Brewster is. Yeah, it's the town before Worthington. Mm-hmm. I know where both those are. Yep. And then I, uh, I spent a com- couple summers as a kid, like in Brewster, oof. chasing a girl. She's hot. Well, of course, you I chased remember. a girl. I think her name was. Um, you were probably like thirteen. Misty. <laughs> Dude, she was so hot. I remember. Just She's probably now. She probably went through the phase and is now done being a stripper. Probably <laughs> at the Silver Bullet in town there. Oh, these hands. There's a Silver Bullet. It's a bar in Brewster. And I just remember that. And it's got like a Coors, Coors Light sign. Sorry. I want to go back and drink there now. And find Misty. Would you get Misty if you found Misty? I wonder what she looks like. Probably Dude. real bad. You think so? Bet she wasn't as hot as you thought she was either. She's probably got like 18. One months. chick probably in that town. She was hot. There's probably six people who Dude, went to the she school. she was hot. There. That town had like 400 people in it? Five. Maybe five. So there's probably 100 kids in that town. Yeah. But there's probably like... I mean, you could literally get from one corner of the town and the other on a bike in two seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, not that, but like... You don't want to... Yeah. Five minutes. It's like three five, blocks. Five, ten minutes. Yeah. 
Well, it's bigger than that. And then my uncle or my cousin John, who's like my uncle because they're a little bit older, and I would stay with them. You know, for those cousins that are older. Because my aunt Jan, she's Sorry, the oldest. I was making pedophile jokes yeah. about your uncles. His mom <laughs> owned a house on the biggest plot of land in the central part of like Worthington. There. Jesus, that's probably worth something now. No, no, no. It wasn't a big house. She just had a big part of land. It was like a I weird know, that's a... house in the middle of the town that just had this all this property around it. Well, did she sell it for a lot? Like make uh, four lots? One of the kids. No, I don't know if the, oh, one of the kids got it. One of John's brothers or sisters. Knock that house down and sell four lots. You'd probably make more money. In fucking Brewster? Oh, I thought you were talking about Worthington. No. So you're talking about the same area. Okay, gotcha. That's cool. You get to play football and stuff. Yeah. On the lawn. Guaranteed. And then some of his brothers own farms just outside on the north side there. And then it was fun, man, because it was like. Yeah, farm animals and fucking. You know, dirt bike, like a motorized. We, him and uh, one of my, well, distant cousins, Adam, him and I, like, built a, That's my a moped. Like a two wheeler moped. Really? Yeah, out of scrap. That's pretty awesome. Because Adam knew how to, like, weld, and we were like, oh, we got this simple engine, and we put something together, and we wrote it, we painted it, and wrote it in the parade and shit, in <laughs> Brewster Parade. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, my, you know, my uh, grandpa was a farmer, and he w- actually... What su- kind of farmer? Like corn, wheat, yeah, whatever. Yeah, see, yeah, the, the, yeah, that's what the... the, the, the but he'd rotate, the you know, Bronx stock. Were, Soybeans. Were corn farmers. I remember spraying crops yeah. on a fucking tractor. Well, we used to have to... We, they had lots of beans, even back when I was young. Soybeans were still real popular, and we... Um, he made the six-seat fucking spraying apparatus. Yeah. On the front of a tractor? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we did. It's not safe. It's an old tractor, and they would have a <laughs> the fucking... The ends? I always wanted to sit on the end, because they would, put, they like, would the go like this. Shitty plastic chair things on them. And Ours were the metal there, ones. And then you would have a gun yeah, with a, a big tank. Guns. Well, it's a long gun. Yeah. And then you would spray the weeds and the corn. Yes. Yeah, that's, we did that, too. It was, it was beans for us always. You guys want to go spray some beans? We're like, hell yeah. You get six little fucking kids on the front of a tractor going like 15 miles an hour. Wow, wow, wow. Well, you know, I think that's cool, though. You, I mean, people Oh, I love it. It's one of my it. favorite memories. You know, if the kid falls off, you're going to be like, oh, shit, and you stop the tractor. I, no, you're, you're going to run him over. Yeah. Oops. There no, goes for real. There goes little Teddy. Dude, the kid falls off the front of that thing. He's going to bang his fucking head. He's going like 10, 15 miles an hour. You don't go that fast. Yeah, I did. And my favorite part was sitting on the end. The very end. Yeah, because it was like, yeah. there's something on the wing. Life but, will find a way. <laughs> Life will find a way. I know Jason loves Jeff Goldblum to death. I love him too, but it's he's annoying. <laughs> I, I think he's awesome. I know. Did you ever see the? It's the thing, though. I think he's annoying, but I also love him. Either Jeff Goldblum reacts to I'm weird. tattoos of Jeff Goldblum. Did you ever see that video? <laughs> no. It's good. Did you check out the Facebook page yet? Which one? Every day, a picture of Jeff Goldblum. No. Mm, bring it up. <laughs> Facebook. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so that's the past. What about what else about your past? Well, okay, so then the other thing is we'd go and then visit, like, my dad's side lived in another town nearby there. So we would go to, actually, in Wendell. That was one of the... I don't think I've ever used that email anymore. It's just for my... Go ahead. So anyway, my, you know, that's one time, like, we would go to Cook and Wendell's, too, you know, and have some Christmas time there. Otherwise, it was at home, and... The food was horrible, but the company was great. My dad always gave me really cool gifts. <laughs> Why is that? That's today? <laughs> I like how you blurred it out. I didn't do that. A friend of mine did it. <laughs> it looks pretty good, though. My pants good. were up. <laughs> I know, but he put, like, you must have taken that from your tummy. By the way, Lance, <laughs> in your life, this isn't so clearly, this is at least, you know, how many years ago? 18 years ago, this picture's from. And you still, they make t-shirts in tall. 
Okay? They make them in tall. <laughs> you don't they, You don't have to go up in size deal, to get a tall. I know. I need tall shirts because I have I a long know. torso. And you, tell my work that. Tell my work that. I told you that at work. I'm like, you need to tell the fuckers to give you a longer t-shirt because you're reaching up to get the bottles up here. They're like, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember the time I reached across the bar and I was like tickling you? <coughs> it was gross. You have gross hair. Just so you know. <laughs> All right, Christmas I present. Got gross hair? When I was tickling you, yes, oh, yeah. it grossed me out. What are we looking at? Uh... <laughs> what? Uh, Jeff Goldblum? Every day, a picture of Jeff Goldblum. Or a picture of Jeff Goldblum every day. Oh, the same photo of Jeff Goldblum. Is that what it is? Yes. That's some fucking <laughs> And then look at the posts. Scroll down. Yes, there you go. And then just scroll down. <laughs> Why does Jason love Jeff Goldblum so much, though? He's a good actor. That's not. I'm not, like, putting it down. I'm asking, though. Like, it's not one of those actors that you kind of glom on to. <laughs> That's like a <laughs> So we're looking and it's the same picture of Jeff Goldblum every day. <laughs> and it's I should put that in post it every day. I should Yeah. I've had that as my cover photo before. Yeah, Brandon Bramshire does that too. Yeah. <laughs> the one with the dog. All right. So Christmas present I think we covered. Right? Yeah. Um we already talked about present, what we're yeah. doing. I mean, I'm having, well, actually, I'm having people, Kenny and I are having people here for Christmas Day. I don't know, I gotta figure out if I That's gotta cool. get something for food or something. <laughs> I'm glad you, I mean, it's only a day to go, right. so you probably should have put a little more thought most into of that. it. So I'm gonna fucking just be like, hey, here's 20 bucks. Communication breakdown. I think it'll be more than 20. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. What was it? Thanksgiving? <laughs> I spent $100 just on like shrimp. Yeah, it's, you gotta feed a bunch of people. I bought two pounds, and it was like the king shrimp sh- shit. Like, the ones that are like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I They're do. fucking huge. I wish I could eat them. We ate all of them, too. I used to eat them. And did you f- have them in cocktail sauce? Yes. Yeah, so well, I had a friend that made cocktail sauce for us. Cocktails. Homemade. And I had two different That's ones. Awesome. I had one that was really spicy with more, you know. You need the spice. And then one that was, my mom doesn't like a lot of spice. Mm, you need the spice. Spice you need. Mm. Mm. Spice you need. I can't do it. Okay, Christmas future. Now here's the big one. Where do you wanna? When are you thinking you're gonna do the whole family Christmas? Like, are you your Christmas Florida. future isn't gonna be with a bunch of kids and stuff, right? I think we've it's unless you have. I mean, unless you there be have to really be some serious change of events in my life to have that happen right like now. Like you'd have to marry a 23 year old. Or just even a thirty-year-old, <laughs> you know. You want to have them before that. You don't want to have your kids right after you get married. You can have kids when you're fifty. You had your kids in your thirties. Thirty-one. Yeah. Yeah, but it was right after we got married. We yeah. Should have taken like if we'd have taken a few years to wait. You had kids before you got married. Don't fucking lie to the people here. This is a fucking Christmas special, okay? That is not very Christian. <laughs> The sex was good. You know what? It doesn't bother me. The only person that bothers is maybe you. It doesn't bother me at all. I might give you shit about it because it's just funny. I know, but it doesn't bother me at all. It is funny to give me shit about it. (sighs) My daughter will know soon enough. She might know already. About the birds and the bees. Birds and the bees and the the flowers and the the trees. trees And the birds and the bees. Why are you doing that? Uh, That's earnest. Remember Howie Mandel? He had... Is that... My name is Bonnie Ernest, and I'm the party I <laughs> And then he would do Ernest. <laughs> My name is Ernest. Didn't, uh... Didn't Williams, um... Jesus. Ro- didn't Robin Williams do that? A kind of a voice like that, too? The Ernest one? Yeah. Uh, but Howie did, too. Yeah. Howie would, like, his stand-up, he would, like... Before Bobby was Bobby's world. Yeah. He Which would was a do great Bobby, show. and he would, like, Ernest would be, like, this fucking nemesis of Bobby yeah. on a stand-up. Yeah. So, and then, but, then Howie Mandel, that's when he had a full head out. of hair with 
curly black hair. Yeah. And then he would do his fucking signature, take the rubber glove and <laughs> blow it yeah. up over his You know head. he had to quit doing that for health reasons? Probably because of the shit on him. Well, he said they said he was like harming his nasal membranes cavity. and yeah. stuff and they said he could fuck up his brain if he yeah, I mean, popped through soft all the air went in. in there and shit yeah. said he could get a bunch of air in his brain something like that yeah you look you can look it up later i'm gonna recommend something to everybody right now watch the What's, movie bright it's a christmas time and watch the movie it's about getting along together is too. it about christmas no then fuck that that's not what we're talking right. about i'm just kidding it was a good totally movie, kidding we're talking <laughs> We can go off. We do whatever the fuck we want because it's our fucking podcast. That's what it is. Merry fucking Christmas, motherfucker. Fucking yeah, shit. mother. Shit. You don't skits. freely. Sh- it's weird. I thought you would. You don't freely swear as much as I do. Like, I'll just go on a motherfucking rant. You know what I mean? Motherfucker. See, I just swore. Yeah, but you were like, motherfucker. You didn't say it like you normally would. This motherfucker cut me off on the freeway. Like See, these say, lights aren't too bad. No, we're pretty good. They're not. It's just dark in here. Like, yeah, but if it, you it's have these good on, for the these show. These lights are shitty. No, I saw that on the video. It's just like, week. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree with you. But, and it's good for the cameras because it's right here. But it's just dark in here. I'm like, and it makes me on. <laughs> right. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm not tired. I was tired when we got here. I'm like, oh, my God. You're like, I got a text... And you're like, I'll be there one thirty to 2 o'clock. And I'm like, I think it was one thirty two, And I'm looking at my phone. And I'm like, I oh, better get oh, up. And fuck. Then, well, it's a good thing I didn't get here on time. <laughs> and it's just one of those things where I got home and I couldn't sleep. So I watched. Well, of course not. You're amped up from working. Yeah. Yep. Me and the wife have that all the time. Okay. What is your ideal future Christmas? Florida? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. going to be in Florida fishing and have people come down and be like, hey, let's go fishing and fucking. Okay, that sounds fucking awesome. That's what I want to do. Okay, good. That's simple. Yeah, camera battery getting low on that one. Mine is, well, that's all right. They don't need to see me much after this. Okay. Mine is, uh, <laughs> unless is there, how long is low go for, though? I don't know. It's pretty low. <laughs> oh, actually, we can plug it in. Oh. Let's do that. Anyway, um. Mine is really, like I said, the one thing I want to do is get the kids into something to teach them something, you know, yeah. about Christmas. Yeah. Like the real Keep meaning talking. of Christmas. And we talk about the real meaning of Christmas all the time. And um, and I know there's, it's not debate. I know that Christmas didn't start out the way that we all talk about it. Okay. But the... Mm-mm. I don't like it. <laughs> we didn't, um, you know, facts are facts, whatever. The way we celebrate it now is it's about Jesus and family. Oh, God. I should have my shoes on. How does that feel? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> but really oh, the idea. We save, we save the day. The real, I th- good job. The ideal Christmas w- is... I do. I mean, I have a lot of fun at my brother's house because it's kind of cool because we do have both sides there, my wife's parents and my parents. Yeah. So that's really cool for us. And uh, we kill two birds with one stone. No, I'm just kidding. And I mean it. It is very cool to have that. And I want to keep doing that almost every year. So ideally, that's good. But I do want to have one year where we just all kind of huddle, you know, hunker down during a big snowstorm, you know. We just stay in our pajamas all day Christmas. And pretend you're like in the Garden of Eden Watch and take them off. With my kids and my wife. It could, it's at, like, just like us at our house. You wash your kids when they're young and naked. Gordy, bring those kids. <laughs> so, Gordy. Bring those fucking kids. This yeah, week. you got a Miller Lite? You sure do, Gordy. <laughs> Miller Lite. I think that's what it was. The pe- Miller Lite, the pedophile beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> So, we, but like, just kind of like have a, just a quiet, close Christmas at home. No offense to the in-laws or my parents, but just, you know, Hey, our kids with their parents, something, you know, we watch the best movies, which we'll get into. 
And did you see they tried to they did a live of the Christmas story? Yeah, was it any good? I don't know. That seems stupid. How do you make that? That's they did like a, like a live TV show. You know what that reminds me of? It was live. L I V E. That rem- you know what that reminds L-I-F-E. me of? L I F E. Is like somebody doing a slower, lame revert remake of an Ed Sheeran song. Like the, a song, they do remakes of songs that already are kind of dumb and lame. Uh, and then they slow them down. You know, I'm like, fucking, this song sucked already, and now it really sucks. Right. Don't you think? I don't listen to much Ed Sheeran, so. That's my point. <laughs> it's it's g- garbage. So, <laughs> he's a talented guy, and it is for some people. It is not for me. But the point is that Ed Sheeran style is like that pop you know love song acoustic yeah. kind of but also kind of yeah. rocky and then somebody remaking it where it's just a little more lame is like the worst i'm like why the fuck would you do that right either make it better or get the fuck out of here yeah. i don't like the remake like everybody thinks when they redo a song they have to make it acoustic and quiet and loving and like uh, well you know what i mean and my example t- uh, as opposed to that it would be like Ryan Adams, not Brian Adams. I'm confused. Doing Oasis's Wonderwall remake. Have you ever listen to that? I have heard it. There's exceptions. Okay, but he makes it eerie and it's slower. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a tingy darkness to it. I think it's better than the original. In my no, opinion. I don't. Well, he said, she said. But I was a guy. He who, said, she said. So I was a guy who would listen to a lot of like that album. So I was more inclined to listen to that back in the day. But where, what was I going to say? Oh, so the point of that is the remake, doing the fucking TV show of it or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's no way it's going to be better than the original, especially if people have that original lodged in their mind about how awesome it is. All their favorite parts are going to be different. So it's not going to be that fucking good. Like, you can remake a movie that was done 40 years ago that people don't watch every fucking year. You can do that. Yeah. You could probably remake that um, that movie about Turkey, The Midnight Express, getting arrested in Turkey. You could remake that right now. Mm. And it might be as good, and you could be separate. You know? But, like, they remade True Grit, and I love that movie. Totally loved it. I was, thought it was a little overrated. I loved it. The acting was phenomenal. Yeah, I thought there. it was good. I just thought it was, yeah. Yeah, I got you. So, but the point is this. My mom didn't like it. What, the remake? Yeah. Of True Because Grit? she loved the original. You mean like this, Daniel? <laughs> when you're talking like this, the whole movie. <laughs> That's his style. I know. I think he might be. I glue. fucking love that dude, man. Of course, who doesn't? Starman. You remember Starman? Yes. He was Starman. Yes. It's a fucking awesome movie. So I think it was 1980 when that came out. Here's the deal. It was three years old. My mom did not like that because it was she knew all, all the original by heart. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Like, don't make something out of something else unless you can do it better. It's hard or to do. do or separate the two so much that you, they're just different in people's minds. Because otherwise, people are gonna watch it and be like, "All my favorite parts are different. This is stupid." That's, all, that's my take on that. I just ranted against that show I never saw. One movie that I'll say that was re- it, it escaped and didn't release. It's like trying to make remake Point Break, and I don't know why they even. It was tried horrible. To... Point Break was good, but it wasn't that fucking good. With the Keanu Reeves and it fucking was, yeah, that was awesome movie. It was awesome for the time, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how well it holds up, but it's pretty good. I mean, dude, that's still like a seven point five out of ten. Oh, rate. we. Dude, we watched that movie a million times. I get it. Yeah. As kids, yes, the remake was fucking horseshit. Even the Chili Peppers were in there. Well, Anthony Kiedis was in there, I should in say. In the remake? Yeah, he played uh, War Child's buddy. He's the one that shot himself in the foot in the, in, when they're raiding the house. No, that's the original. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting ready for tomorrow. Apparently. That's my vibrator. It's going off. She doesn't give a fuck, right? She's, how many fucks is she giving right now? <laughs> We're in the middle of a bank robbery. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so, moving on. Future 
We talked about that. What I want. Um, what about your favorites? We're going. We're moving to favorites. Okay. What are your Christmas favorites for? Let's say favorite Christmas thing is. Or let's say like, let's start with food. Food. Yeah. Dude. Well, it, it has to. It ties in with. Um, it ties in with Thanksgiving too. I always have to have lefsa. Oh, I love lefsa. It's my favorite thing since. I'm a lefsa guy. How do you? Time out. Are you a real person that would eat lefsa? How do you prepare yours? I don't put sugar and shit on it. Mm-hmm. I just put butter on it. That's wrong. And then I'll fucking wrap like turkey or ham or whatever in it. It's that's good. not lefsa. That's a sandwich. Yeah, you can make it into a wrap. But I don't always eat it that way. If I'm having my main meal, then I eat it by itself with the butter on it as a side. And then, like, if I'm having leftovers, I'll turn it into a sandwich. I don't care. Shake your head out all you want, you fucking goof. Just relax. Just relax. Some people are like, oh, I put brown sugar and yeah. little trinkets on it. <laughs> sugar on it's awesome. Yeah, I don't eat it that way. I do. I eat it as, like, a, a, br- a Butter. Bread. I do butter mm-hmm. and sugar. Well, you want some blue cheese with that too? No, what? God, you're such a f- Hades hot sauce. <sighs> so Handy's hot sauce. Oh, because I added sugar. No, that's the real way to eat it, Lance. No, it's not. You're the one making it goofy. I mean, I treat it as a bread. Yeah, that's not right. It's like it's a potato. Like it's a potato bread, a flat. <laughs> it's not bread. It's a potato tort. If they're square, they cool. You cut them. It's whatever. Okay, moving on. It, so it you're not say for your dessert de- delights. <laughs> yeah, but see, you wanted to explain you want some fucking jam on that. Yeah, shit? but you're like, oh, this is how I like my lefsa, and then as soon as I say I like mine with sugar on it, you're like, oh, what else do you want on it? <laughs> yeah, because when I'm saying, you're like, no. Okay, you're the same thing. Yeah, I did do that. Okay. Um, did you notice this thing? You ever check out like the holiday porn? Mm-mm. Here's one. She's got her butt out. You've never noticed this? They're doing this now. If I can think of any better way to celebrate Christmas, it'd be holiday porn. You should show them it. Oh, don't show them that one. <laughs> How do you get them to fall asleep? They do that. Have you ever seen those ones? Or they're, like, they're always fucking on somebody sleeping now. There's like three girls in a bed. Let's leave and they're like there watching or playing video games. And one will just get it's like a It's so pack. stupid. Right? And then they'll move to the next one. And the other one that just got banged will fall asleep somehow. Well, this was actually a topic I wanted to talk about was holiday porn. Okay. I brought it up here. There's like, this is just the main page. Here's one. This is just the main page. You know, there was like 15 on the main page, mm-hmm. thumbzilla.com. And so anyway, oops. Yeah. So you've never, you didn't know about this phenomenon? <laughs> what the fuck? See how that is? She's got the green stockings on like an elf mm-hmm. and the little, the, the furry like thing around her neck there makes her look like an elf. Mm-hmm. And then this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? So just her moaning? Oh, that's all I can really do. Okay. Man, she's really hard at cleaning that toilet, isn't she? <laughs> that's all I can really do. I gotta play this. Okay. Ding, brother. I 
That's the best part. You've seen that one, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> that's years now that's been out. Oh, that's uh, funny. Yeah, I was trying to bring it to the Christmas you know, <laughs> spirit. <sighs> so you didn't know, like, you've never noticed that when you're scrolling through your porn that all of a sudden you're like, oh, uh, not really cool. That I've been I'm... watching a lot of Public Agent lately. Oh, that's... I love scary. it. There's some good ones. Uh, I don't know. I never really, like... Cause I don't want them. I don't care if they act. I don't need a big story. <laughs> I don't know. What would you do it for uh, uh, ten thousand rupees? Like <laughs> we already know you're not. They probably didn't even pay that much to do the show. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They probably gave her three hundred bucks and an eighth of coke. <laughs> or eight, whatever, eight ball. It's a good deal. <laughs> That's like four hundred dollars. Oh, I get to be in a video for life. Gonna... Your life. Hey, if you do this, you could probably get on a Star Wars movie. Think by the done. That's how Kelly Tran got in there. No way. <laughs> what if she's actually sixteen? Like, you know. she's an attractive Asian. <laughs> attractive Asian. Isn't that a David Bowie song? I know. I love David Bowie, though. I know we all do. All right. Christmas food. Yeah. Lefsa. Lefsa. What else? Uh, I love Lefsa. My Christmas That's probably food. probably my favorite thing. Has got to be. My mom will always make sure I have a cheesecake. And of course, now this prime rib thing, we've been doing it for about five years. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> but when I was a kid at grandma's house, we'd get in and the, on the other side of the house, the entry the, where everybody would go in and out, you know, there was also like a big mud room with a washing machine and stuff in there. And on top of the, Washing machine and dryers was all were all these like baked goods and cookies and candies and stuff, mm-hmm. and they always had these like wafer like they're kind of like a buttery flavored like wafer with and they had like they were like pressed you could tell it was just like poured and pressed like a pancake kind of or mm-hmm. like a waffle, but very very thin and crispy, you know, and it had like a what my mom would do was take the extra I don't know what they were called but I high fucking, crust. I would love to have that again. My mom would take the extra pie crust, yeah. flatten them out, cut them into like little squares, and yeah. then put sugar and brown sugar on them and cook them. And they were like little snacks. That sounds awesome. It was just My cheap aunt, ways of like making like sugary cookie flatness. That sounds awesome. Yeah, and then we get kind of puffy a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of like the cheesecake. I like kind of scrape sometimes, and we'll just eat the hard like gooey crust. Like it's hard, but it's also kind of chewy, you know? Um, but the thing, um, ding, cheesecake with like a crunched graham cracker base is really good. It's like the best, especially when it's a little bit moist, not too dry. Moist. Mm -hmm. Moist. Yeah. Panties. Um, what was I going to, there was another one. So if you had to guess. What would be in your, if you had a stocking for you that said Adam on it and just society and, and life in general were to give you something, what, what, what would be in your stocking? A salami? Yeah. Um, wasabi almonds? Yeah. Um, probably like sometimes, you know, on the mantle there's a gift because it doesn't fit in the stocking. That Star Wars Rebel Pilot helmet. Mm hmm. Motorcycle helmet, the newer one for the motorcycle. Oh yeah, you showed me that. Yeah, that would be in your stocking too. Oh my god, I want it so bad. I almost. How much is that? Like six or seven hundred dollars? No, that's the Boba Fett one, but I don't want a full face anymore. Right. This Rebel one is perfect, and I like kind of don't like the open face ones, but this one I just. You know what? You would be a perfect like. Like the fat pilot. The fat pilot. Yeah. You would be that guy. Uh, what's his name again? What, Wedge? No, Wedge is the guy that survived. He's a skinnier one with the dark hair. There's a heavier guy that dies in this one, too. The new, I know you hated the movie, but The Last Jedi. I mean, we're not going to get into it, but I just want to say there is a pilot that kind of looks like him. Oh, no, there's one in, they always have kind of a heavier set pilot. It's yeah, you'd be in one, one of those scenes. Yeah. You know what my scene would be in Star Wars? 
I'd be one of the rebel guys in the background around. Do like, the Tie Fighter noise. <sighs> <It's kind of clears throat> oh, if I didn't have it. a cold that my son gave me, I love that's that. A, I love that noise. I wonder a, how he made that noise. <laughs> Let's just play it. It sounds like probably a like a motorcycle with uh, something else. Here, Tie Fighter sounds. Yeah. It's only the lasers. Like, obviously, this is, we don't just want to hear the lasers. It's almost like a... Oh, it was just starting. That, right there, that's it. You know what that it is? Sounds like something next to like the Like a highway. It could probably... Yeah, like an... And under, then alter the sound a little bit. Or under a bridge. Mm -hmm. Do you ever see how he made the... You ever the, notice that? Under the light, the, or the, the laser summons? The, no, I don't remember. So you take a, you know, that like tied wires to like poles and stuff, and you oh. would hit it and it, like go like this, and it go. That's pretty cool. All right, that's enough of that. Yeah. That's not even that good quality wise. Fuck you, whoever. BTL Y Wing. Fuck you. Your video sucks. First of all. Ooh, do the blaster rifle sound effect. Oh, that's from the newer ones. Yeah, or the that's prequels. True. <laughs> oh, that one's cool. Oh, of course. Cloud car. Death Star Super Laser. Oh, that was like a colonoscopy. <laughs> That's cool. Millennium. Yeah, say the names when they come on. Millennium Falcon. And that's just the... Those are the tail gunner, basically, right? Yeah. Oh, no, that's the tail gunner. The other one was the front gun. Yeah. Yep, that's the tail gunner. Slave one. Han Solo's blaster. And these are from... You can hear... Hoth Cannon. Cool. Imperial blaster. That's a cool That's one. the one where they go. Ion, ion cannon. cannons. Cool. That's the one where they shoot, where they're leaving Hoth and they shoot the ion yep. cannon when they're escaping. Yeah, I know. What does the MSF mean? All right, that's good. <laughs> we just playing Star Wars. That's what we're doing today, folks. Okay, so my favorite. I love when I do that voice when Steve was here, it'd be like, "Oh, there he goes again." <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> there he goes again. All right, so we've covered food. Merry Christmas, Steve. Merry Christmas, Steve. Hi. We wish you were here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm I'm kind of picking from my topics here because I get a. I'm not gonna lie, I still get a shot before the Vikings game. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna, probably gonna sit and edit. That sounds awesome. Are you not during the Vikes game? Though? I Vikings might not make the Vikings Packers. game in the first part of it. I might be going to dinner. Sometimes the last half is the best half. Okay, Christmas booze. You know, uh, it'd be nice to get some fucking eggnog with some whiskey in it. Okay, that's going to be a lot of people's favorite, right? Yeah, I would imagine. I haven't had an eggnog in a while. I like to have at least one coffee with, and I'm not a coffee guy, but coffee with a Bailey's in it and a little bit of Irish whiskey in there. pretty good yeah. taste yeah bailey's on the rocks is good too it's too much creaminess for me yeah but i get it it tastes fucking you can awesome. put a little whiskey in there too well and that's what i think they do that a lot they do uh irish whiskeys with it mm -hmm. generally i'm not and i did get introduced to this one christmas time with me and the old man drambuie mm -hmm. and irish whiskey but that's an irish liqueur yeah, and I think you're supposed to have it with scotch. It's called a, a rusty it's, nail. It's called a rusty nail. Yeah, but I had it with Irish whiskey, and it was like super sweet. But I, it was in moderation. Let's put it that way, because yeah. that will put you in the fucking tank. Like you will just like <laughs> two or uh, three of those. You know, let's fucked. say there's a patron of ours that come in, and you know who he is, and he drinks rumplements on the rocks, and I can't believe he fucking does it. 
Well, it used to be Sambuca, wasn't it? No. Oh, we're not talking about the same guy. Probably not. We're literally not talking about the same guy. No. Because that's who I was talking no. about. Okay. Oh, he was a treat the other night. Who was again. it? Mike. Well, just like explain. Music teacher. Uh, he, he might never be there when you come in. What time does he come in? Earlier. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Does he hang out with the crowd on the corner? No. Okay. He's kind of a solo project. <laughs> that's cool. You know. I like that. Um, all right, yeah, I can't do the rompies. I can't do anything really anymore. I don't like, and they're like, we'll do this shot. And I'm like, you know what? I do, I get it. I know why you want to do this all the same shot. We can just everybody pick their own fucking shot. Like, can I not have, be forced to drink fucking Sambuca? Ugh. Like, black licorice would make me barf. Guess what? I will literally barf if I have to drink like a McGillicuddy's because it reminds me of my 21st birthday. Not the same reason I couldn't drink tequila for like 17 years. <laughs> I can't even touch tequila. I can. There's, but see, now I've found good tequilas, and there's, and then there's mezcals, and there's. Oh, it's still recording. That's good. <sighs> Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Would you like some fries with that? Yeah. Uh, or would you like apple pie with that? Isn't that what he says? Something like that, yeah. Um, no, but I absolutely love the fucking Bailey's Coffee whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. And and you're pretty much the eggnog. Is That's your Christmas jam. Sure. <laughs> okay, finally. Mm-hmm. Movies. Of course, we're going to do this, right? I mean, you have to put Die Hard in there, don't you? Oh, fuck. I didn't even put that on my list, but it's... Absolutely, That's one a of my favorite movie. Sorta, it's during a Christmas party. And nine dope reindeer. Yeah, totally. I think yeah, that's, that's how that goes. Like, that's pretty solid there. You know, I love fucking. Obviously, a Christmas story is pretty badass. Yes, but that's kind of the movie. You're like, you know, you've seen it so many, so many times. times, and you're just like, you're like ready to pass out from eating or drinking or whatever, and you just put it on. And you're like, nah, I'm just not changing it from this. You're like, there's that lamp lag again. <laughs> that's nah. kind of funny. I like the part where he's swearing in the basement. And then Or when the kid sticks his tongue on the pole. Nothing better than the end of that movie. No, no, no. <laughs> I like when the kid... It's not fa ra 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 <laughs> It's fa la 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 I love, la I love when the, the, <laughs> his younger brother puts on the snowsuit. He's like, I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> and he's just fucking sitting well, there. Well, and it's like, so cool. The dad is like, hey, I want you to... Or come on down, you know, try it on. And he comes down in the bunny footy pajamas. Mm-hmm. And he's like, all right, you can take it off now, basically. And Or his mom is like, okay, come down here. And she's, he's just like, Terry can Carr. You please, can he take it off? He is doesn't like it. I think so. Wife. And the dad was way older than. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, good job. <laughs> way to hit that one up, buddy. <laughs> Okay, any other favorites? Oh. I'm gonna my absolute favorite, absolute favorite, is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah, that's one of the best. It's shitter's full. <laughs> and he's <laughs> shitter's full. He's, he's got his. He's got like the the fucking yeah, the, bunny hat on. Yeah, and he's got his fucking just his. Oh, robe what do they call those? Though? And boots, and he's just sitting there going, Ugh. you know, he kind of went crazy. He did, but. You know, he got to, he's probably like 68 years old. Maybe he's got like Alzheimer's or something. Randy Quaid? Yeah. Could be. Let's bring that down. Talking he was about, in. Talking about one of the best. You ever see him time. in Caddyshack, too? I don't remember it. I remember a lot of Caddyshack. There's but I some, I mean, I mean, Caddyshack it's not, too. obviously, it's not as good as Caddyshack, but it's, there's some pretty fucking funny parts in there. And Randy Quaid was fucking hilarious. Isn't it? Isn't it Caddyshack 2 where he's got that outrageous bag? I don't rem- I don't know. I just remember Randy Quaid was like playing a goalie on one of the holes and they try to make it like a theme park and he's like, come on, put it in the hole. And he's fucking sitting there going, <laughs> with his big crazy glasses on and shit. I can deal with that. I can totally deal with that. What about, okay, so and then my mother-in-law's favorite, for sure. This planes, trains, and automobiles, and she's seen it a million times, and she still is like, <laughs> "Look at these new guys!" Like, 
crying during the scene where they're driving down the highway yeah. and the car gets all fucked up. She's like, I just can't believe these two. I'm like, that is hilarious that you still laugh that hard after so many yeah. years. And I, I would let, I'd say this movie too, and it's not necessarily a Christmas, but it is seasonal. Mm-hmm. It's Groundhog's Day. Oh, that's a great movie. Yeah. yeah. I even do get a little bored some in the middle. They do too many iterations. Although the ones where they're real close together like that are hilarious. Those yeah. that's the best parts. And the when he drives those two drunk guys home, yeah, just lines them up with the train. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I'm coming back tomorrow anyway. So what are you having to drink? Sweet vermouth on the rocks with a twist. <laughs> Reminds me of the sunset. <laughs> That, yeah, I mean, there's some really good... That, I don't think you could have... Here's what I'll say about that movie. I loved it, and I I can't watch it a million times. I've watched it probably five or eight times yeah. already. Probably like, I would say six times. It's a movie my mom and I love, and oh, I've yeah. watched with her, and she loves it too. You watch it a million times? Yeah. But I, I'll say this. it's They couldn't have made that movie better. Mm-hmm. I don't think they could have. No. You know what I mean? The way that it was made and exactly how it plays out. I think if you change, like like what I said, you know, some of the longer iterations. Yeah. If you changed those, it wouldn't be as good. How'd you feel about Scrooged? Uh, I was, I'm indifferent now because I saw it when I was young. I didn't get all the jokes. Yeah. I was too I'd young. I'd like to rewatch that. I, you know what? I saw that on Netflix the other day and I was like, fuck, I should watch half of this now and half later. Because it was late, you know, I had to go to bed. Yeah, I kind of want to revisit that one. Because he's just some, you know. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's Bill Murray. Anything. Yeah, it's just a remake of Charles Dixon, Dick and Scrooge, obviously, but like with a with a new with a twist. Twist. Yeah, it's like a Coen Brothers film. Yeah. It's a it's an allusion to a previous, you know, to mythology or whatever. But yeah, but this one's Charles Dickens. Yeah, and it's him being some like (laughs) TV personality has everything and whatnot. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, is he a famous person? I, mean, I thought yeah. he might just be rich. But yeah. Both. It would make sense that he'd be famous. Yeah. Because yeah. he and does like specials and stuff and, you know, on his TV show and then he plays like this character in front of the camera and then he's just an absolute dickhole. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did you ever see since we're, okay, since we're on this, did you ever see the um, his Christmas special? Who's? Bill Murray, no. it's great. <laughs> they get snowed in, and uh, yeah, where is he? It's either Chicago or New York, but nobody's supposed to be driving. Nobody, so they get snowed in, and he's at this hotel, and he's supposed to do this special, and it turns into this big fucked up thing, and it's just cheeky, and you know t- the way he is. The mm-hmm. whole show is that way, and then he sits down, and he talks to these people who are stuck at the hotel. It's I'm not doing it justice. Let's put it that way. Okay. You got to see it. It's on Netflix. It's like a very Bill Murray Christmas or something. A very, yeah, something like that. I'm just going to look it up here. Um, so, yeah. I. You know what? Newer. There's not a whole lot of newer Christmas movies I like. Mm-hmm. But Elf. Just blew it away. Oh, a very Murray Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Just watch the end. Watch the last two minute, two and a half minutes. Where is it at? Top one. That's it. Oh, uh, maybe you shouldn't watch the finale, huh? Mm, I don't want to. I want to watch it and then. Okay, go. <laughs> Do that one actually. Which one? This one. Yeah. And look who it is. It was late so this is a musical last night. I was feeling something wasn't right. so this is there was not another soul what does that woman's name from Sofia Coppola no that's okay Only you. So I who's singing right now is the chick from um, Parks and Rec she's very talented and now she's in that cop show that spoofy cop show oh what is her name? It's a unique name. See if there's more comments. And then the other guy's another genius. And I yeah, Schwartzman or whatever his name is. Well, he's a, he was in a band actually too. Yeah. 
Well, all these guys, actors and stuff, they do musicals and stuff before yeah. they get famous, you know. I think a lot of them. Well, they're usually in plays. You know who that is? Hot, hot, hot. I do, but what's his name? Ru- is it Rufus or something? He played, the, he played uh, the cab driver in one of those Christmas movies. Yeah, but he's the guy who does that song. Hot, hot, hot. And that's the Saturday Night Live, ladies. So, good news, everybody. Our our <laughs> note by note uh, summary of this video includes no fucking names of anybody that's famous in it, besides somebody Schwartzman and Bill Murray. <laughs> He's always in those fucking um, movies. Steve Zissou and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, with with Bill Murray too. He's in a scene with Natalie Portman in one movie where she's completely naked. It's great. She doesn't look that good. You can see her rib. Not my style. So, that's all part of the... So, they're stuck in a hotel together, essentially. And he made them open up the bar and stuff. So, it's like a snow in. Yeah. And it turned into this really funny... You know, he talks to the wait staff. He talks to the some of the patrons. He talks to... Let's see if he says something funny at the end. Oh, here we go. This is Bill Murray. There's funnier, there's more funny songs in this show, but this is a pretty good one. A very Merry Christmas. Ah, it's Rufus something. What am I doing? So the light. Oh, that was special. It there's so it's like that. There's lots of jokes, but they're very wry, you know. Yeah. It's just like situational. Yeah. And then um Anyway, it's situational funny. It's just like Bill Murray funny. But it's also kind of, there's parts that are real obtuse and then there's parts that are real subdued. And then there's parts that are really cool. Like that song was really good. <laughs> but anyway. How long was the special? Like an hour? Oh yeah, it's like an hour and 20 minutes or something. Mm. Look at Eddie Bravo with hair. Where's Eddie Bravo? Where? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. He's he's a flat earther. Okay. Here's the cast of A Very Merry Christmas. Bill Murray. Oh, and Michael Sarah. Sarah. He's in it too. He's a talent agent. He's just a total heel. It's fuck. It. It's really good, actually. That part's really good. George Clooney, Miley Cyrus, Dmitri Dimitrov. That's himself. He's a comedian. Uh, let me. I'm gonna go by. Yeah, I know. Oh, Rashida Jones is the name uh. I was trying to think of. That was the woman who was singing in that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Maya Rudolph also sang in the song you just heard, Jason Schwartzman. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, Paul Schaefer's in it. Of course, he's a musical. He's fan. awesome. It was really awesome. Phoenix is the. If shifts. anybody doesn't know who Paul Schaefer is, you should go bury your head in the sand. David Johansson. But he was on David Letterman. Just so you know. Fuck! What is this fucking? He's the bald dude that plays the piano. Or the keys. All right. The band leader. <laughs> uh, <I> mean, <laughs> thanks. Well, I guess that's all I got. Was, yeah. it, was there another list of movies? I thought you'd get way more into that. In the movies? Yeah. Uh-oh. I think that's it. London. Let's call it a night. I think so. Yeah. Do you like the movie Home Alone? Yeah, it's another good Christmas movie. Yeah, but if you watch it now, it's crap, right? No, it's still good. Want to sign us off here, Adam? We out! (laughs) Oh, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. And all that other shit. (laughs) 